shot. Oh, brilliant bit of feeling out in the deep. This game is just, yeah, it's chaos, isn't it? Everyone on edge here, the crowd on the edge of their seats. I've got kind of hairs on the back of my neck standing up just when you're thinking about it. Oh Thank my you. gosh. Well, you might have just made his ground. Those moments, I guess, are what all the hard work is for. That will never be seen again. Hi, I'm Tom Curran and I'm an all-rounder for the Oakland Invincibles. Oh yes, oh yes, Tom Curran, that's absolutely marvellous to see. On the first season, I felt like we had a good squad on paper and, you know, the first two seasons we sort of just lost those close games and all of a sudden come back end of the comp we, we weren't in the running. For the Oval Invincibles, it is the long road home. Their competition is done. With only eight games, it's, you know, you, those close games you need to win. The Oval Invincibles men kind of under-delivered over the last few years. On paper, they've got the high quality side, they've got the big stadium. And I think they would have reflected things we haven't quite made made it work or hadn't clicked. So coming into the, the season, it would have been important for them to really start focusing on how to turn it around. Sam Billings, Oval Invincibles captain and wicketkeeper, um, batter in the middle order. Any successful team, I think, is bred upon consistency. It's all about we knew we had the, uh, the quality. Uh, it was just about delivering more consistently. And at big points, I mean, the year before, we lost a game at Manchester, which we should never lost. Finds mid-off, can he get home? He can get home, they missed the stumps. Paul Walter dives in. Two chances back-to-back -back went down in the last over and it could have been very different. In terms of a team environment, we knew we had the quality and, and the personnel in the room. It was just about kind of cultivating that environment. We have got an eclectic group of personalities and that's, that's the best thing about it. It's one of the best dressing rooms that I've been a part of. Sam's a hard worker, he's loud, he jokes and just in general. On the start of this, it really did feel like there was a good vibe amongst the group. It's clear to see we've got the quality. Stringing that together was, uh, was really key. Things like that, you, you gain such huge value from the best players in the world. Sonny and Iran had obviously been around with us for quite a while, and that experience that an overseas player can bring is a huge boost to, to any team. I mean, the Karen brothers, obviously you see them on the pitch, but two very different personalities, I reckon, but two great blokes. Jason Roy, life of the party, great character. Again, just huge positive energy. Gets on really well with the younger lads as well. Tawanda and him have got a bit of romance going on. Uh, best of scares. Worst Jason Roy. Will Jacks, he's a brilliant competitor, someone who's obviously got the quality that he's shown all around the world. It makes my job really easy to be honest. It's not just about me setting up the environment, it has to be everyone kind of going in the same direction, so it's definitely a team effort. Hello everyone, myself, Azza, TC. Just preparing here for the... Oh, we've got Phil Neal coming in, the manager. Uh, just preparing for the game tomorrow night at the Skipper. How are you, Junior? Chappie. And um, yeah, what a great crowd to start off our campaign. Down the pitch. Yay! That's in the air, take it! And it's two and three balls for Southern. Yeah! That's in the air, take it! Once again, it's that man, Sultan. And he's away. That's up in the air. And taken. It's nervous. I won't be needed. If we are, it'll be maximum entertainment. Leg side, bigger boundary. It's six. And they're all 
some invincibles in, they're celebrating. The draws a draw, a tie's a tie, six needed off three. Is that another boundary? You bet it is. Toe end of that, that will get through. They will come back for two. And it's the Invincibles that win the London Derby. Any new tournament, you try to start with a win. It's good to start with a win, gives you momentum and it's self-belief in the dugout that you could win from any point. So, relieved? Yeah, we've got a really good blend. Every tournament in the world, that's what you want. You want the best overseas players coming in. It just galvanizes the whole tournament, makes my job easier as, as captain. Well, this is the home of the Oval Invincibles and they've got some serious talent. It is set up beautifully, a great venue. The weather looks decent. There's some blue sky above. And that will go far short, third man for four. Belted, leg side. Oh. That's wet truck. <laughs> Unfortunately for Eskenazi, straight to Salda. This is going out towards uh, Good comeback this by the Oval Invincibles after a brisk start. Coming off the field, having you know kept Welsh fire to 138, I would absolutely say we've we've done our job. They had a world class attack, Shaheen, Ralph. All of us have played against him a huge amount of times and know the skills that he possesses. Harris Ralph is a different kind of phase bowler through the middle and at the death, and has developed a really good slow ball now. That was a worry though to have two world class death bowlers. Will it swing in? We will find out in a few seconds' time. Can Shaheen Shah Afridi get it right? In the air and taken! Phillips, who's a brilliant athlete, claims the catch. Coxie, he's done really, really well for us in the last few years, but has scored a lot of runs and, you know, in that, in that game, they got us going for sure. Good partnership building here for the Oval Invincibles. That's it! Oh, well, shouts of catch just over. We want to break this chase. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, go. <laughs> well, they bowl straighter and it's been dispatched into the crowd. 50 for Jordan Cox and it's been a very good one, full of clean striking. High leg side. Fielder underneath it, right on the boundary edge. Very good. He was brought back to take a wicket. He's done exactly that. Now the batter departs, caught on the rope. So the match set up nicely now with wickets falling at this very stage and nearly getting up to two runs per delivery. On a big ground, that's not easy. This game is just, yeah, it's chaos, isn't it? In those sort of situations, the game's pretty set out for me in my situation. I'm just thinking still and let's smack it. <laughs> As again, the well struck. Oh, that's me. That sounded good. The quicker the bowler, there can be a lot more scoring opportunities sometimes. You know, you get a little bit of bat on it and the edges go for four a lot quicker. Oh, he goes back again. Oh, that stoppage. Six. The first one, though, off pain when he bowled the slow ball, that was actually my favourite. Oh. There's a split second moment of you're the only person in the world that knows how well you've hit it. I think NASA had some great commentary and it did a few rounds of the one that went. Wow! That is the biggest I've seen. That has gone out the oval. That has gone up the Harleford Road. That will never be seen again. New balls, please. And they need that need a boundary or a six very quickly in the gap on side he won two he hurries the tour is good it's a run out that is just brilliant phillips is such an athlete i cannot tell you how good this is one run and the fire win two runs it's a tie three runs the Invincibles win. Everyone on edge, the crowd on the edge of their seats. Here comes Payne, final ball. Oh. Flicked away on 
right-hand side. Straight to the field. The throw is good. There's a dive from Tom Curran. He might have just made his ground. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The ball into the hands. Just roll that back. There's the wicket is broken. Push it forward. And the man can I zoom in on that, please, on that side? And move it across. Not out! It's a tie! Uh, uh, the players can't believe it. The, the crowd does believe it. Have a look at the Welsh Fire Boys. They will take it. The Oval Invincibles, they will take the tie. By the barest of margins, the dive in. After all that, 200 deliveries. To get, you know, three points for my first two games, which quite could have easily been zero, um, I think set our season up quite nicely. That'll find the boundary. Matt with a lovely lofted drive over extra cover. Yeah, that is huge. He's got all of that, Klaassen. Wow. Klaassen brings up his 50 of just 23 balls. Nia hasn't got any of it. Oh, bold. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. Bold. What a night he's having. Three for one now. Had some pretty good prep there playing. I felt like I was ready to go and what a place to play cricket. I can't put it into words, it's, I was not expecting that. Yeah, good, the crowd is unbelievable. It was tricky at the start of the sun, but um, once the sun went down a little bit, um, the wicket had got better. And Henry Clarkson just showed all his class, excuse the pun, so um, amazing, amazing performance with the bats, get a really good total on a used pitch. Difference of 94 runs, and that certainly sends a message to the rest of the competition. One of my favourite places to play actually at Edgebaston and the atmosphere is always pulsating, it's, it's loud. And there's the standings in the men's league, the Oval Invincibles right at the top, so it's top versus bottom, Oval Invincibles unbeaten. Still no Tom Curran, last time we saw him was diving in at the Oval, how far away is he from fitness? Yeah, hopefully next game. He's obviously a great cricketer, we saw with the bat but also with the ball as well in those death overs, so it will be good to get him back. <laughs> Punished by Duckett. Beautiful cover drive. Against all the teams, they've got world-class players. Leg side. In the air, over extra. Billings will realise they're going to have to play well. They've got the line-up to do it, but they'll have to play well to knock these off. Oh, I'm hoping that we can knock it off quite easily, but you never know in this game, it comes quick and fast, so good power play and then hopefully sets the platform for the rest. Here they come, Roy and Jax, followed by Jordan Cox and Klassen and Curran and Billings. There's plenty of batting, but there's also runs on the board for the Phoenix. No, no, just past the outside edge. Any tournament, you don't go a full tournament without having a bit of a stumble. And that was the day, it's always a tough place to go. Wow, that's hurt. That has hurt. When you've got Chris Wokes and Adam Milne coming in, swinging at, at pace both ways, they just bowled really, really well and I think broke the back of that chase. Edged, easiest of catches to duck it. Klassen has gone. They're the kind of moments where you sense that they know how big a wicket that is. He's one of the best players in the world uh, currently, and, and we saw that in every other game practically. Gone, slapped it straight to Moen Ali, extra cover. Captain takes captain. It was just a bad day in the office, simple as that. Gone, that will do nicely. Their first win in this year's 100, the Oval Invincibles.
their first loss. It's always how you bounce back as a team. So individually, you can't get too down if you've missed out a couple of times with the bat. When you've got that bulk of good cricket under the belt in the season, it's quite easy to just put those ones to one side and, and, and keep going. And the Invincibles are top of the table. A win here today, and if other results go their way later this week, they'd secure a top three spot before they play again. Coming to the Oval there, I remember it was a beautiful day. It was going to be a, a big local derby. I think for us, it's a nice assignment. I think every game was sold out two or three weeks early. That kind of states everything you need to know about the Oval. Picked up. Well, he's dragged that right across the line. The boys came out firing there. Power, placement. That is about 15 rows back. J-Roy, Jaxi, Classy smacked it. Sam came in at the end and finished the job. He sweeps. Yeah, nice, nice first inning. This is the highest score at the Oval. And it, I think it is a very, very good score. When you're out there, I guess you know you've got a good score, but again, you've got to go and do the job. You know, things change so quickly. They have class players, someone has a day out, and, you know, it breaks the back of the chase. It's dragged it back all right, but then, again, Rossington, thick outside edge. It will go over short third. It's another boundary. Under lights here, chasing. It's it can be tough to defend. He's clubbed that straight. What a start this is to this set from Sam Curran. 6-6, six, six, Curran under pressure. Oh, he's put it into the crowd. Would you believe it? He needed that and he's produced it. Matt Critchley swung it away behind square for six. Two balls left. The Spirit need eight. Critchley. The right man is on strike. He's 29 from 11 with three sixes and a four. Goes slow ball, swung into the leg side. Oh, a brilliant bit of fielding out in the deep. It's Ross Whiteley. That is an unbelievable bit of work. But Ross Whiteley was amazing. Arguably match winning moments in the field. And it has saved an absolutely vital six. And the Spirit now need six to win. So it's down to the last ball. Oh, it's all along the ground and there are huge cheers here. The Invincibles win the London Derby. Hang on, we're just about to check the front line. I can't believe that Curran would overstep at this Point. I feel like that's a no ball. Oh, yeah, just horrible. You almost start to think, oh, it's not meant to be. Unbelievable scenes, and the game is not yet decided. As a captain, having those conversations, slowing the game down, a little trick Owen Morgan gave me a few years ago was actually never give the ball to the bowler. The bowler wants to take the ball off you straight away, and after that, they're not listening to a word you're saying. So he says, just use that as a trigger, and they're able to articulate in a high pressure moment what they want to do. He wanted a bowl of bouncer. I said, absolutely not. He goes, really? I said, middle stump, you all uh, blow the stumps. Bang! It doesn't matter. It was, um, again, nervy, but yeah, balls of steel from the young man to to nail his skill and, and, and get that W. You know, when different guys are stepping up, that breeds confidence because you know, when, when we put together our perfect performance, we will be tough to beat, very tough. Well, the one thing the Oval Invincibles have done in this year's tournament is that they've won games from difficult positions. Leg side from the Oval Invincibles captain. High and away from the fielder. into the gaps powerfully. Hit hard to the shorter boundary. Win here, they're through. Yep, they are through, if they win. Just one hit away now. Down the pitch, down the ground, and all the way for six. It's not always just having a standout performer. 
about a group of kind of players really stepping up. He leads his side to their first hundred final. They will be at Lords on Sunday. Hi guys, Sam Billings here. To all the Invincibles fans, thank you so much for your support throughout this year. And hopefully we can do the business tomorrow. Incredibly honoured, incredibly special for this group of players. And, and like I said, hopefully we can continue our good form and get the job done tomorrow. Yeah, buzzing. Obviously, beautiful weather. Normally rainy at Lords, but I'm really excited. I've got kind of hairs on the back of my neck standing up just when you're thinking about it. And they're the moments you want to be in as a player. As a team, we knew we deserved to be there more than anyone. There was a lot of nervous energy, but excitement as well. Two box office sides who know how to win close games. Let's hope this is a thriller here at Lords. It's Oval against Manchester. Collectively, we knew we had the quality, and that kind of fills everyone with a huge amount of confidence. We go again for one final time in this year's 100. We will have a new winner of that men's 100 trophy. That's as big as it gets, you know, it's the final, it's where there's going to be such a contrast of emotions. We were, as a team, were very keen to obviously try and try and win. Richard Gleeson with ball in hand at the pavilion end. Yeah! Was there an inside edge there? There was. Come on! First blood to Manchester, the nip backer down the slope, inside edge of Roy, he goes for a duck. J-Roy got out quickly. Again, one wicket down, can live with that. He'll just play it like any other game. See ball, hit ball. Full toss, does it get over mid-arm? Does it get to mid-arm? Sterling puts bat under arm, he's off. The originals have two. You just almost want that first punch to be thrown. You want to get ahead of the game, but we just didn't. It was a nervy start for sure. Sam Curran comes in at number four. It's another first ball duck for Curran. Two for Gleeson, one for Little, 15 for three. And I think then that's when, you know, I'm getting the pads on, I'm starting to get moving now, and it's like, wowza, we're in a bit of trouble here. For the Oval Invincibles, they were up against it. They, they did the hard work of getting to the final, and, and then they just didn't get the start they wanted with the bat. It's going to happen. You know, it's a game of failure, especially as a batsman, unfortunately. Oh, is it an edge? And he's given, gone. Short this time, goes high. Will Jax. And then Jaxy got out, and I was, I was in. It's in Tom Current to the crease. Dangerous batter. Genuine all-rounder. I want to come in and be positive. I'm not just going to block it. I think Jamie Overton bowled me a ball early on as well, which I missed. Oh. Starts with a beauty. Sometimes you get cleaned up by those, you go and sit in the dugout and you're like, what's just happened there? Like, I wasn't on it, you know? And I think that actually, I was like, that all could have easily bowled me. I think that switched me on a little bit and I was like, right, come on. And then things started to happen. Short and pulled away. Wax it. Over mid-wicket. And Nisham has just laced into that, into the leg side. Current is batting as good as he's batted for a while. Bang! The way he's batted and the way he is playing. Takes him to 36 of just 18 balls. This is third six. Second boundary in this set. What a shot. How well have these two played? What a recovery this is. Can he finish off a really good set? But he's gone straight and he has got hold of that. Well, that is the highest ever partnership in the men's 100 to bring up 161 in the first innings.
Pulling it out the bag later on in the evenings, I think, was really vital. It wasn't, we're going to sort of roll over and let this final go away. No, we're going to grab this by our hands. Getting to, you know, 160-odd from where we were, absolutely, we were very pleased. It will be a record run chase at Lords, and it has to happen in a final. And they get to 162 this evening. Butler and Salt can take the game away from you so, so quickly. So we had to be on it, that's for sure. Timed, you could just hear it off the bat. Short ball, it's gone a long way up, and it's gone a long way back. Shoveled over mid on. Inside edge gets past Billings, that'll rush away for four. Until, you know, we saw the back of Butler and Salt in particular, you know, there was definitely a bit of nervous energy around. Sam Curran, yes, taken. They needed a wicket, they've got one, it's the Curran brothers. Caught Sam, bowled Tom. Salt got out first, and then Butler. Yeah! And he's got the wicket he was looking for as the captain, Josh Butler. So dangerous last night, this is a huge moment. Obviously for Danny, who, you know, was super, super pleased with, you know, was on the sidelines for the whole competition and had to come and play his first game in the final. To make the biggest inroad, um, to take their skipper, was, was just amazing and a huge moment in the game. Oh, yeah! And another, and another! The spinners are all over this game! Fielding's massive because their whole lineup had such dangerous players. And when you've got a pass score, below pass score on the board, you can't afford to drop catches. He's dropped one short. Has it gone straight to the field? And what a catch! Is it a catch? They might have to look at that. What a brilliant bit of fielding. Time now for the Oval Invincibles to start thinking that they've got just that one hand on the trophy. Yeah. Crosses stumps close. Carl thinks it's gone. Yeah, it is a good review. Oh my word, how's that missed off stump? In the moment, I feel like there's there's snippets where you can enjoy. But that buzz and that hum around Lords, it was just an energy that as players we want to be a part of those games and those environments. Brilliant, brilliant from the Cullen brothers. Outstanding from the Oval Invincibles. They are the 100 men's champions 2023. They've shown a lot of skill, but more importantly, they have shown a lot of character. The game, this. <laughs> I'm the champ, how do you feel? Unbelievable, we've been brilliant all tournament. Um, pretty much kind of summed up by today, the two lads stacking their, hand, stacking their hands up uh, when we really needed. So, amazing performance. Um, yeah, phenomenal. Those moments, I guess, are what all the hard work is for. <laughs> It's important to enjoy those moments because they don't come around very often and I had to be able to embrace with Sam there and my friends as well. Yeah, absolutely feel very blessed for that. What they did so well over the last few seasons really was hold a strong core of players together. Will Jacks, the Curran brothers, um, Sam Billings himself. That even when they had players going in and out, they were able to just maintain that strength of, of a side that can handle pressure so to finally get to that moment of, of holding that trophy it would have been really something that have looked around and felt pride for being able to go through the test the tribulations of high-end cricket and be able to deliver on the field as a committee we decided that it's not going to go to anyone because it's just going to sit really nicely on top of the trophy <laughs> Unbelievable. I uh, didn't want to attend, to be honest. Looking around, the crowd was still rammed. 
I just felt very present there and it was great. <laughs> it really was. I, I really did have a special feeling about that group from the start. Like I said before, something I'll definitely remember for the rest of my life. It's amazing that you just get a couple of results go your way and it just kind of, uh, it, it felt all the way along that it was our tournament to win.